All right, so uh, let's jump into today's topic. We are on module 14. Uh, module 14 will be, uh, we'll cover two lecture times. So we'll start it today and we'll do the second half next week on Monday. And uh, module 14 is an introduction to object-oriented programming or OOP, many times pronounced OOP. Um, not, that's not my favorite, uh, <laughs> not my favorite way to say it, but a lot of people do. Uh, we have a weird habit in computing, uh, of pronouncing acronyms. I have mixed feelings about it, but, uh, GIF and JIF, uh, would, would like to suggest that other people do not have a problem with it. So that's fine. Um, object oriented programming is a specific methodology of programming. It's an approach to programming that spans many different languages. Not every language is able to support object-oriented programming. A language has to have specific constructs to be able to support object-oriented programming, and uh, Python fortunately does, uh, and I think say, I say fortunately because um, Python is a great context to learn about object-oriented programming because it's a lot easier to deal with some of the aspects of object-oriented programming in Python than it is in some of the other languages. So learning it here is great. If you are a computer science major, you will learn much, much more about object-oriented programming. If you're not a computer science major, if you're just somebody who's interested in the uh, the learning the ins and outs of software development, object-oriented programming may or may not become a big part of what you do. So really important to just sort of go with the flow here and think through uh, the concepts, and um, that will help you out. So why do we care about object-oriented programming? Why does it exist? What benefits does it give us? The big thing about object-oriented programming that it does for us is an extension on a theme that we've been talking about throughout the semester, and that theme is the idea of encapsulation. And encapsulation is a term that you're going to hear in relation to object-oriented programming. Uh, we've already talked about it in terms of the black box idea of functions, right, where you know what the input is and you know what the output is, but you don't really have to care too much about what's going on on the inside. Object-oriented programming takes it a bit further and it allows us to create objects of any kind. And those objects can include both methods, AKA functions, and properties, AKA variables that belong to that object. And I will warn you, when we first start talking about object-oriented programming, it may feel a little bit abstract, like why do we need to do this? We can do this stuff other ways. Uh, but I will tell you that in many cases, object-oriented programming is the most efficient and the most powerful approach to solving a programming problem. So you do wanna know about it if you're serious about software development. Classes are the foundation of object-oriented programming. Classes define the model of something. You want to think about a class as sort of like a blueprint for something. It shows the plan for what something should look like. If I have a blueprint for a house, it shows how many doors it has, how many windows it has, how many bedrooms, bathrooms. It shows how they're arranged, how they're put together. When I have the blueprint for a house, it doesn't mean I have a house. I don't have a house until I use that blueprint to build a house. I can use that blueprint to build a million houses that are all identical to each other. They're all based on that blueprint. That's the relationship between a class and an instance, or sometimes a class and what we'd call an object. Sometimes instance and object are used interchangeably. Class is the blueprint instance or object is the house in that analogy. 
a blueprint can define both actions or methods. We know that we know those outside of the class context. We know them as functions, but it's some code that does something. And a class can also have properties, which are just variables that belong to that class. I know it's a little abstract right now, but we're going to start nailing it down here in just a minute.